Hello, and welcome to our episode. In this episode, I'd like to talk about some of the most beautiful things you can make by taking pictures of the night sky. Star trails, such as this. All you need to start taking star trails is a camera that can take 30 second exposures and take them repeatedly one after the other. Uh, you need to set up something like this and then um, leave it out for about 30 minutes or more. This should allow you to make quite a nice um, star trail as, uh, as I showed you before. So here are the collection of photos I took over the uh, previous night. Let's combine them together to make a star trail photo. Okay, so you've taken some images of the night sky over the previous night and now you want to turn those images into a combined star trail. Well, the first thing I looked into when I was uh, investigating the best way to do this was the star trail software, but I found that it produced um, inferior, uh, an inferior result compared to the star stack software, so that's what I'd recommend. So let's go to star stacks. Uh, to get started, you need to drag your photos into this section of the um, application here, like so. And then you need to add your darks. Now, the darks are going to include the actual noise of the camera, so the noise it's producing all the time. And it's going to subtract those from the final result, which will mean you have a clearer image. So to add the darks, you need to come to this button here and select the darks from your stored images. Now I'm going to choose gap filling and this is will fill any gaps between the actual frames that you're taking. So if there's a second gap somewhere or just ensure that there's no gap in the star trail. And you also want to ensure you've got this checkbox uh, ticked here to make sure that any noise from the camera is excluded from the final result. Then you just click the start processing button and uh, as you can see, the images are being combined together and the star trails are starting to form. So I'm just going to stop um, commenting on the video now and uh, increase the speed so you don't have to wait the three or four minutes for it to complete. Okay, <clears throat> as you can see, this is a uh, fairly um, dirty image with kind of trails here of aircraft and perhaps satellite trails over there. So what you need to do is you need to go through the actual images, find the ones that have these artifacts in them and just untick them and then redo the processing. So if you go through these here, you can see there's an aircraft there. So you untick that and then later on you can just rerun the processing and produce the final result. Okay, so I've uh, got the finished result here from uh, Star Stacks and I've rotated it in GIMP, which is a photo editing software. Um, now it's got a slightly coloration issue here, so I'm going to go into colors, go to the hue saturation, and just increase the hue ever so slightly so we get the correct green. There we go. And then I'm going to tidy up the image a bit. And there's the finished result. Well, that's it for another episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, please do give us a like. And if you'd like to see more astronomy videos, then please do subscribe. If you have any questions, please remember to uh, put them in the comments below. I'm thinking of doing a more advanced um, Star Trail episode in the future. If that's something you'd like, then please do ask for it in the comments as well. Okay, well, goodbye and clear skies.